Oh boy. Here comes a knife review from Weapons Education. I am excited when I look at these blades. Now come on. That is a beautiful sight. Oh, it's been a while since I spoke about some of my blades on the table. You are looking at on the top two extra large espadas. In the middle, two large espadas. And on the bottom is the medium size espada from Cold Steel. Friends, these knives are wicked. Wickedly fast, wickedly powerful. I would not want to be on the receiving end of a stab wound with one of these. I'll tell you right now, I am an advocate against violence. Run away if you can, of course. Let law enforcement do their jobs. But if your life is in danger, someone else's life is in danger, and you're within arm's reach, you, for some reason you can't get to your gun, or the gun is not appropriate for that situation, this is one deadly weapon. And let's make no mistake about it. This is this will be a messy mess if you have to utilize these blades because they are wickedly sharp, wickedly powerful, wickedly fast and I can't say enough good things about them. I'm gonna warn you when I sit down here about safety and I'm gonna warn you about uh, ever deploying these because we'll, we'll speak about that. These are as deadly as a gun if not more because they are so incredibly powerful. Let's just talk out randomly about them. Let me zoom in on that unbelievable. I got see. I'm here. I'm walking my talk. I have two of them. Uh, and the reason why why do I have two extra larges is because one for collectability. When Cold Steel stops making these, they're going to be worth a lot of money. And they have a habit of doing that with their knives. They'll pull them off the market like that, similar to the the Raha One. Gone. Can't get it no more. Uh, I'm fortunate I bought it when it was available and boy if these cold steels these particular ones the high-end ones these espadas come off the market they're gonna be worth some money now that blade on top uh, the two XLs are very close to 17 inches in length when I sit down and show them to you and I'm a big guy six foot four I mean they make my hands look small and there's two ways to grip them I'll show you that these are defensive tools. The middle ones here are the large sizes, which re re in reality would fit most people because since I'm such a big guy, I have bigger pants, bigger pockets, deeper pockets, being six foot four. The large, I carry the extra large and the large and the medium, depending on what my apparel is for that day. I just like to know it's there. I mean, once you get used to having a knife on you, you feel like, like you forgot to put something on like your underwear or something like I'm missing something you have to have your blade with you once you get in the habit of carrying one and once I got this top one here on top that was my first one that cold steel extra large spotter once I I'll tell you the story I was in my office I'm in my business suit I saw the box comes in from cold steel I know I paid a lot of money it was well over four hundred dollars for it and I, uh, I, I, I shut my door I locked it and I go down behind my desk and I've never seen anything like this. You have to see it in person to really realize you know, the presence of it. I sat down, I open up the box, you, know, you read the warning label, you open it up carefully and then you hold it in your hand and you open it. Like, oh, oh, I was like, oh my gosh, is this thing wicked. I was almost like afraid to like even touch it. And, and then I, I closed it very, very carefully. I put it in the box and for about 24 hours I actually, I, I didn't even look at it for 24 more hours because I was just, I just didn't know. I was so astonished when I first saw it. I was just so, it so, has so much presence. I don't know how to put it into words, into a video. Then, of course, you start using it and practicing opening and closing it. And uh, you get a very accustomed to it. You get more comfortable with it. But this will cut your finger off like a banana. I mean, it does not... It does not know the difference in a banana and your finger. It will go right through it. You have to be really, really careful closing this blade, and we'll talk about that. So I spoke about the collectability of it. It's got a wickedly sharp tip. I mean, I mean that is a needle on all of them. Just a needle. And the, the blade width is thick. It's not like a flimsy blade. They are extremely high quality. 
I'll talk about some of the steel here in a moment. Uh, it's, it's OS 8, which is perfect steel, absolutely perfect. Uh, the, thumb, the thumb plate here is designed to open up as you extract it out of your pocket. So now I'm not, a, I'm not that good where I will actually personally pull this out of my pocket and just open it like that. I'm too afraid of injuring myself. But you have to be careful because you see that, you see it's got that thumb plate right there designed to open automatically when you take it out of your pocket. So you have to be cognitive when you're withdrawing this, even just to put it away, to put it in the vault, that you do not open it. It is that fast to open. The spring just goes and it just opens right up. And you have a fixed blade once this is open because we're going to talk about the triad lock system on this. I just, I can't brag enough about what Cold Steel did with these knives. The 7075 aluminum frame, I'll zoom in on that frame. It's a solid billet aluminum. Beautiful polished black G10 handle. Just take a look at that handle. And I hope the camera gives it justice. This is in 1080p as you know. There you go. The craftsmanship is second to none. You can focus there. There you go. That's the large. That's really what I recommend for everybody. Um, unless you're like me. <laughs> the extra large. Because if my life is in danger, I like to have that reach. And when you're dealing with a knife, reach is, is kind of important. The style of it, it's just absolutely perfect. The er ergonomics fits your hands. The scaling on the handle, as I just zoomed, zoomed in on, are just beautiful. Uh, let me show you uh, a magazine here. I want to talk about something else. Oh, before I do that, let me do this. Let me do this. This is another knife I, I, I cherish. This one here. But look at that. That Spartan. I, I'm a cold steel guy. I just I have a lot of cold steel. It's probably the whole collection. And uh, look at the size difference. And the extra large, just to give you an idea, let me put the tips right there. So the tips are the same. But look at the size different in that beautiful Spartan compared to the extra large Spada. So you can get an idea of the size of it. It's just massive. Right at 17 inches long overall length. And the blade length alone, just the blade, is 7.5 inches long from here to here. See, just by touching it like that, that was... That was a risk I just took by touching that tip. I could have cut myself. That is how sharp it is. It is as sharp as a box cutter. Let me show you a magazine here that I'm going to sit down. Okay? Okay, here's Cold Steel's magazine uh, that comes. I get this like every month or so. Now I'm a dealer. I get, I get stuff from them weekly. This will all be available on our merchant website, which, by the way, goes live July 25th on my birthday. I decided to choose that date. And I'll be in Philly, by the way, uh, like the week before. So I'll come back, we'll open up the store. But look at this uh, right here. The extra large, when it's opened up, that triad lock system will hold 600 pounds. Well, to me, that makes it a fixed blade. Um, yeah, dudes, I'm into fixed blades too. Yeah, I love them. I've got them. We'll review them. We'll talk about them. I honestly have over 100 blades. So I'm, I'm way into all the different types of blades. But I kind of do like the folding blades. I prefer them the best. Because I can just slide them in my pocket and they turn into a sword. That one holds 600 pounds, the large 400 pounds, and the, the medium 175 pounds. So these have a special what's called triad lock system developed by a knife maker called Andrew Demko at Cold Steel. And he outdid himself. He did an excellent job on these. Let's look at the blades again. All right, let's talk about these blades. Uh, I'm going to put this Spartan away, which is just beautifully designed to fit your hand perfectly. Highly recommended. I, uh, I sometimes carry two blades. Some people joke that when you love something so much, you just like to carry your collection with you. You see how I'm closing all the blades extremely carefully? Make sure your fingers are not anywhere near that blade. Uh, a knife of this caliber is so extremely sharp and so extremely deadly, you really need to treat it with respect. 
this spot or extra large is always loaded unlike a revolver a pistol where you can just simply look inside and see all the cylinders are empty and there's nothing, no bullets in it or you can look into a semi-automatic and safety check it and make sure there's no bullets or, or, or cartridges in it safety check it there's no safety check in a knife it's always loaded it's always that sharp and I am telling you if this barely touches your skin you are going to be cut severely and um, I, I don't know how to emphasize that enough so when I close this first you gotta break the triad lock system which is right here it's nice it's up front which I like okay and then once you break it and it's a tight spring which I like then you get your fingers way out of the way and then you close it and if your fingers are in the way bye bye fingers I'm telling you alright enough on safety now why would you want to have this in your pocket well obviously this is a fighting blade there is uh, no if ends and a buts about it that's what it is this is not a utility blade uh, I love utility blades I have a bunch of them but for this particular blade here these folding espadas these are to defend your life and to uh, to hurt the bad guy I don't have a camera person today my wife is asleep so I'm doing my best here but what you have is look how smooth the back is look at the milling on it it's just amazing everything about it is, it opens so quickly so easily and that snap is just it's just so cool to hear uh, I, I just love these things. When I got my first spot, I told Wicked you that story blades. sitting in my office. Incredibly sharp. Let me buff them up a little bit here. Use my ballast all. I'm going to take my time talking about them. I'll tell you, I've never had a rust spot using ballast all on all of my firearms or blades. Let me make them nice and shiny. And we're going to talk a little bit more about them. Here is the Spartan. Okay, let's look at the Spartan real quick, by the way. Look at that. Look how it fits your hand perfectly. Hmm. Just awesome. You know, once you carry a knife, close it carefully. Once you carry a knife, it's kind of like you leave your home, and if you forget something, like, gosh, if you, don't, you don't want to forget your wallet. You can't forget your keys because you can't drive the car. You don't want to forget whatever notes you have for going to work that day, with your business items, your whatever you do for a living you don't want to forget those type of things and I'll tell you once you get in the habit of carrying a knife and then you leave and then realize you forgot to carry a knife I've turned around I've driven three four miles from the house and said heck I left my blade out of my pocket I'm going home I don't feel comfortable yes I have my gun whatever it is whatever you know the guns but I do like to have an alternative and an option options are good make no mistake this is a fighting blade these blades let's be blunt these are designed to kill people bad people only um, if you were to withdraw this blade out of extract it out of your pocket and open it first of all it's wickedly fast and it's extremely tight the spring it's wickedly fast it is identical to pulling out a firearm as far as state laws go so make sure it's legal in your state make sure you have your permit and and you practice with this now how do you practice with such a sharp 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 I mean box cutter sharp blade very carefully you do not want to get your fingers in here see that's ready to fall now it's it's kinda of like a guillotine See, it didn't sound like much, but it is so sharp that that little bit will take your finger off. It'll se severely cut you to the point where uh, you do not want to have that happen. This is uh, 17 inches, right? I'll call it 17. It's very close to 17 inches. The blade length is a wicked 7.5 inches. Like I said, it's box cutter sharp. The tip is extremely sharp you can grip it like this I'm holding the extra large or you can grip the bottom okay or you can grip it from behind 
and these are for de defensive purposes only. Run away from violence, let law enforcement do their job. This is to save your life in the last case scenario. It is silent, it is fast, and it is powerful. Do not underestimate a knife of this caliber. I know a lot of you guys and ladies will say, well, I like the fixed blades. So do I. We've got a bunch of them. You're going to be surprised with the blade reviews I do over time. I love my fixed blades. I love my utility blades. I, I love my machetes and tomahawks and all that stuff. Multi-tools. Tons of it. Tons of it. But this has a special place in my heart for personal protection. The Espada series... As you can tell, I'm excited about it. This here, will, uh, this, this notch here, when you pull it out of your pocket, it will o open automatically. So be careful when you're pulling it out of your pocket just to put it into the vault. It could open. So be cognitive of this. I mean, it is that, it is that fast. Okay, And you do not want to accidentally cut yourself with this knife because it, it is not good. Okay? Let's... Uh, Let's, here's another extra large. Why do I have multiple uh, of the same product? I know I'm going to get those PMs and those questions. Well, uh, I, have, uh, I have a fetish with these knives. I, uh, I want them for collectability. I know that Cold Steel will stop making this exact series someday, just like they did the Raha one. I know it's going to be worth a lot more money than it is today. Uh, for my children and grandchildren, someday as an heirloom, part of my old overall collection. I, I do not sell my personal collection, so I'm not buying it to, to make a buck and sell it in 10 years or something. But I just know that it's a, it's a good investment and it's a super, super high quality product. This is, the, in my opinion, the best cold steel knife they make. This is, this is the, the Espada Extra Large or Large. Okay, let's close it safely. And that spring is tight. You gotta really push it in and be careful. Okay, there's two extra larges I just showed you. Okay, here's a large. Now this will most likely fit most people's not only budget but your but your your style because it is not is not as wicked as and large as that extra large, <clears throat> and it fits in your pocket really nicely. Talk about concealment. I mean, come on. This is. I don't have the exact dimensions. But the, the blade length is uh, five uh, and a half inches. Uh, the overall length, I forget, but it's really it's it's easy to keep in your pocket. It's all smooth. There's no rough edges. I mean, look at the milling on it. Absolutely gorgeous. It's just hard to explain how beautiful these blades are unless you have it in your hand. Here's another large. Got multiple larges, multiple extra larges for my personal collection and yeah, you gotta walk the talk. If I'm gonna do videos on products uh, it's because I like them not because no other reason. <laughs> I'm gonna own them and like them. Just it is fast. I mean to deploy this blade is just so wickedly fast. Everything about it is just so perfect. Andrew Demko at Cold Steel really outdid himself when he designed this product. For a female, I tell you what, someone, heaven, heaven, heaven forbid, uh, attempts to uh, grab her and do something bad to her. If she doesn't have her gun with her, maybe guns are not legal, but knives are legal in your state. But at least she has a way to protect herself. And I tell you what, this will stop someone. This blade is so powerful. The point is so sharp and yeah, at least she's got a way to protect herself. I think this medium size is just absolutely perfect for female. I think the medium, uh, excuse me, the large is absolutely perfect for everybody on the planet if it's legal. And the extra large sword is for people like me who are just, they just want the best, the biggest, the most bad ass knife there is for a folding blade. All right, now I know I'm going to get PM saying, well, this one's better than that one. And yes, there are blades that are comparable, and there's a lot of good blades out there, and I like them all. And you're going to be surprised at my blade collection as we talk more about blades. Keep your ballast all, keep them, keep them lubed up, 
and they'll stay silky smooth and shiny and they won't rust. Keep them in your pocket and once you carry a knife, I, I don't even want to end this video, I have so much fun following it. It's just, what's, what's wrong with us guys? Why do we like these things so much? <laughs> Let me polish it again here. What am I? I got fingerprints on it. Once you carry a knife, I'm having fun with this video. Once you carry a knife every day and get in the habit of it, I'm telling you, I promise you, you're going to feel naked without it. You're going to feel safer with it. And uh, you got to practice and you have to be cognitive of how powerful it is and how deadly it is. It's quiet and in certain circumstances, I did a video um, called Gun or Knife, as a matter of fact. And it was a, a bar uh, instance where, uh, it wasn't long ago, about three, four months ago in Fort Lauderdale, guy got in an argument with the bartender, and that was it. Yeah, over a $10 tab, he left the bar, comes back in the bar five minutes later, and out of the blue, he just grabbed a, a kitchen knife off one of the tables, like a steak knife, and uh, just started killing people, stabbing people at, at random. Uh, the people in the restaurant jumped him and you know they smashed beer bottles and cut him up and damaged him and uh, no one had a gun but in that cir circumstance when a guy is being uh, just he, he did kill he murdered uh, the drummer who just cut off stage the poor guy he had nothing to do with the argument with the bartender in that circumstance I think a knife would have been perfect for some of the people who tried to attack that that guy because you don't want to start shooting someone you know with some you know some 45 caliber when people are jumping on top of him and attacking him and punching him and and trying to stop him from the outrage of what his 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 murderous acts, a knife would be perfect in that situation to save other lives. I'm rambling on here, as you can tell. I love the Espada series. It's great for personal protection. If you like knife reviews, let me know. I'll do more of them. You know how much I care about all of you. Thank you. Bye bye.